Uh, now, Jimmy Fallon tried to tell a joke uh, to Roseanne about Trump, and he got handed his head. This is wonderful. It couldn't be a bigger thing. Uh, uh, but then also with the big hit comes people that aren't so happy as well. If you say that you're a supporter of Donald Trump or... Oh, yeah, people are mad about that. Yeah. But, you know, I don't give a... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is that how you I deal mean, with it? I mean, everybody has to, well, everybody had to choose for themselves, according to their own conscience, sure. who they thought was the lesser of two evils. You know, I got to tell you, Roseanne has been treated so poorly by the mainstream media in this country. You know, let's not forget, not only did she have basically the number one sitcom for many years in the, in the late 80s into early 90s, but then, you know, after she sort of woke up politically and became far more politically incorrect, even though she was at the beginning, uh, you know, she got her show back. She got Roseanne back. It was the number one comedy in America, number one sitcom in America. She makes one silly joke on Twitter. They they hang her up for being a racist and everything else. But she's still got it. And, you know, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Steve Carell, uh, not Steve Carell, Stephen Colbert, Carell I like. Uh, the rest of these guys, <laughs> they just they just give the machine what it wants. It's just pandering drivel. And a good comic knows how to work that. And Roseanne is still a good comic. How's Whoopi Goldberg going to take down Fox News? This should be against the law. You should not be able yeah. to, lay, to lie to the American knowingly. And, you know, it's one thing if you made a mistake and you didn't know, but we heard for five or six years how, you know, the media was yeah. lying, sack of do, they were fake news, yeah. they were this. So how come, what is the, what is our, what do we do as Americans to to say this is not okay. I You'd think have you to say the First Amendment. Yeah. I think you, well, I, no. Well, but the I First think, Amendment doesn't allow doesn't you to willingly lie. Yeah. Can, yeah. can I just say one thing? I Whoopi's think Tucker right Carlson is more destructive to American political discourse than Donald Trump, and I think he's more powerful. I think they're him. all destructive because they <laughs> lie willingly. <laughs> I don't think Whoopi Goldberg could take down anything but the uh, buffet at Golden Corral at this point. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is going on on that show. I really don't. It is so crazy to watch that show and watch what were once, you know, sane, decent people. Nobody, if you asked anybody 10 years ago, anyone in America, if you said Whoopi Goldberg, people would go, I love Whoopi Goldberg. Everybody loved Whoopi Goldberg. You didn't know what her politics were particularly. But you knew she was funny as hell. She was a great actress. Then she goes on this View show, you know, whatever it is. Now it's been almost a decade, if I'm not mistaken, she's been on there. It's been quite some, you know, quite some time. And she has just completely exposed herself as someone who has no idea what they're talking about and who doesn't mind showing up to work every day in front of millions of people proving that they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, that, that seems oddly depressing to me. But, you know, I guess it pays all right.